thick, heavy, scary lenses. I hear a lot about this. Everybody hates how their lenses look. And at least you guys with really strong prescriptions know what I'm talking about. So today I wanted to dive in and do something a little bit different. We've been kind of focused on Varnay here for a while because they had some pretty cool sunglasses released. I've still got another one back here. We'll get to that one another day. I've got to contain myself and focus on other things. So thick lenses. You people with heavy prescriptions, you know you can get a lot of thickness. If you're a minus, is out here. If you're a plus, is right here. They get further and further out. And it just gets annoying. A, it makes the glasses heavier. B, the lenses look thicker, obviously. Cosmetically, there's that. And, yeah, they, they have some weird effects looking at them. So they're really high plus, you get the big bug eyed effect. They're really high minus, you get the super tiny effect where your face does this kind of a thing looks like that. I can't, yeah, mine I can't. I'm only like a minus two right at. So, you know, even uh, properly fitted glasses help. We'll leave it at that. And that's what this whole video is about. So, there are a lot of ways to get around that extra thickness you see. I've seen some prescriptions you wouldn't believe look thinner than even this. So, it comes down to picking the right frame, using the right lenses, and knowing what you're doing, believe it or not. Knowing what you're doing and fitting glasses, and that's why a good optician comes into play, or a great one if you've got one. If you've got a great one, they're great. So, what that comes down to is this little guy right here. You can see that is just an absolute ton of prescription. Even this little bit, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the bug out effect, there we go. That's fun. So this is a pair of sunglasses I had made, and this little piece right here, believe it or not, is actually a plus 650 with a 2 add. So effectively at its thickest point you've got right about a plus 8. No small task to be this thin. That is about five millimeters thick at its thickest point. It's a combination of factors that help with that. So this is almost perfectly centered in the lens over the pupil. You know, see what I'm talking about here. When you get this in close where it belongs, it's a little hard to tell because it's a mirrored lens, but there's not as much of... <laughs> it's a strong lens, guys. There's not as much of that bug out effect that you would normally see with a lens like this. Now, of course you do it down here. You can see that's still pretty minimal even in front of that camera lens about 10 millimeters away, which is how far your eye typically sits from the frame. Now that varies from person to person. Typically anywhere between 10 and 14 millimeters is what you're going to see unless your eyes are really deeply set. And that is another challenge. But one thing that helps with that, so a plastic frame is going to sit down and tighter a little bit closer than typically what the metal frames or any frame with a nose pad is going to do because those nose pads will sit frame just a little bit further out and away in most cases. Now, you can adjust some to help with that, but for the most part, a plastic frame is always going to bring that in just a little bit tighter and closer. And trust me, with prescriptions like this, millimeters count. So on to the second point of that, a smaller frame that, as I mentioned earlier, is exactly centered over the pupils. See, I'm not quite there. I just smeared the crap out of my lenses. The things I do for you guys, you appreciate this, right? I hope you're still watching and appreciating. If not, I'm sorry. That's me. Now, I can't see. So, well, actually, I can see right here, so I'll clean these later. Oh, I am losing it today. Now, back to this guy. So, when those lenses are perfectly centered, they're going to be the thinnest they can. There are some other things we can do to improve that. Certain prescriptions, not so much. So, one of those things is lenticularization. And that's what's done here on this guy. And you can see just barely. So, you see how this kind of flattens out at these edges? Kind of does one of these. And then you have that plus. So, that helps thin it down a little bit. And because of the nature of a plus prescription, that's not really something you're going to notice looking through glasses. Looking through the glasses. Now, a high minus is affected a little bit more by this because they're used to having that little bit sharper periphery. So when you flatten that down, there is a little bit of a prismatic effect there. 
usually a couple of days is what it takes to get used to that, which, as you guys know, when you have a high prescription, there's any sort of change, it's going to take a couple few days anyway. So, that's not that big of a deal, but it is something to be aware of. Like, step's a little bit weird. It just kind of comes with it, but it does make a significant difference in the thickness of the lenses at that point. So, even a lens like this can be crazy thin. Now, this isn't even the highest refractive index we could go with, so this could be made thinner, but I like to keep the optics pretty good, and what I've found for the most part, a 160 index is going to maintain really good crisp optics. And you compromise a little bit on the thickness, but hello, plus six, plus two, effectively a plus eight at its near point. That's not thick, guys. So, just kind of what I want to get across there. You don't have to go with like the ultra high index lenses for most prescriptions in order to get a decent looking lens. And in fact, you trade off the optics in order to do that. This is one of the best compromises as far as that optics versus cosmetics versus look, feel, fit, all that good stuff. And of course, digital freeform helps with that bug eye effect. God, I gotta stop doing that. I really need to stop doing that. <laughs> My brain has to recover from that. I don't remember what I was talking about. It's so bad. But, anyways. So, I think you get kind of the point of this video. You know, there's a lot of different ways to cut that thickness down. The refractive index is one. That's the one that most people will kind of default to. You know, they don't always know some of these other options or the intricacies of getting that lens as thin as can be done. So, something to watch for. The internet certainly doesn't know how to do it. There's a jab at some others out there. Now, if you have any feedback, anything you've come across over the years that was done to make your lenses a little bit thinner, or maybe nobody's ever talked about any of this stuff with you and you have a strong prescription, you just have no hope, you just wear contacts and call it a day. Some people do that. But let me know what your thoughts are on it. If you like the video, definitely like, subscribe, follow along. If you're not already, I get a little crazy on these things sometimes. So, there you go. Otherwise, you guys take care in the meantime. Let me know what you would like to see.